Hi guys, it's Chantel from Red Page Cafe. I am just working on this journal, the second one that I've, I've been, if you guys are following me on Instagram, you probably saw a lot of sneak peeks of the fern, this fern journal that is pretty much almost done. I did this really cool um, X spine uh, binding. I was like, what am I trying to say? Okay. So this, I didn't come up with it. Um, I wasn't sure how to do it. I literally just kind of winged it and I never videotaped it. And when I showed it to people, there was a lot of you that asked me how I did it. So I figured um, I would try again with the video on or my camera on so that you guys could kind of see my process. So <laughs> I was going to do it with this one, but two signatures was not quite enough. Three was a lot better for the size of this book, right? So I decided I was at first I was just going to do a regular binding and then I thought, you know what? I'm going to try to attempt this crisscross kind of X binding with three holes instead of five. Okay. Excuse me. And uh, I'm just going to put the camera on and see how it goes. Um, so how I decided, this is kind of how I did a couple pictures to kind of see it in my mind so I could kind of figure out where to start. So I'm going to start in the middle of the second signatures. Okay. So you're doing kind of, kind of using two signatures at a time while you're doing this. So the first one, we will not use it. We're not going to use this one until we get to that part. Okay. So the first thing you need is the second signature and the last one, we'll just put it to the side. I've got a thread. This is wax linen thread. And I just picked it up off of Amazon in a kit. So it's just like that. So I go about, I don't know, one, two, about three times, okay? Give or take. And then I'm go I've got two of them, two strings, okay? So I start with the middle one. Now how I do, so I know what is the top and what is the bottom, I put my clip at the top. So I know that's the top of my signature. So my, my holes line up. Now with a three hole punch, I'm not too, it usually works out anyway. So I find the middle one, middle hole, okay? And then I go across to the back one, the back signature hole, because we're making X's, right? Okay, so this one, we don't need that long. So I'm going to tighten this up. What I'm going to do is actually grab a, a little paper clip. This is a little trick. If you don't want to lose your end, just grab your signature. Just it'll hold it'll help you hold the signature together. Anyways, put a paper clip at the bottom like that, and then just grab the end, put it in there, and just kind of attach it very lightly. I put a little, a little kind of, little knot, okay? It'll hold it from going, coming right out. So it's just a little trick. It's attached to the signature. So now I can tighten it a little bit more, right? Right? I don't need, it's, so it's, it shouldn't go through that hole. So now I go to the back signature, the top hole, right? Just like that and then we go to the middle okay of the third signature so go to the middle make your hole go right through the book and then we're going to do the same thing so i'm going to try to tighten it as i go so it doesn't get too crazy loose because and then we do that same diagonal right here but to the bottom of the second signature, right? So turn it around. So this is my third. So I go to my second. See, it's right here in the, the bottom. And then I was debating this part because I wasn't too sure how to go about it next, but I go right across to the top hole, okay? Okay, and then we put it right in that hole at the top. And then we kind of mimic the same but opposite way. 
So you, you see how we went this way? Now we're gonna go, sorry, I'm just going to pull on this a little bit, a little tighter that way. We're just going to do your X the opposite way. So now we're gonna go to the back middle. So the third signature in the back. Okay, I'm just gonna find where my needle went. It kind of went in there, but not in the right spot. Sorry, guys. So right here, you want to make sure it doesn't get caught in this. Um, so you just go right through to the middle. I think I did get it caught. Yep. So see how it's caught? I'm just going to pull it back that okay so now they're not attached and then I go back to the bottom again so you're finishing off and then I'm gonna tighten it after okay bottom pull, and then the bottom part of the signature over here and then we go up back to the middle okay so that's where we're gonna finish it off as I do. right here so there's your first set of two x's right let's see if i can find my second signature let's see if i can actually get it in the signature oops sorry okay so if we can get it right <laughs> it's like going down my finger the okay so right Okay, there it is. So there's your end of that one, right? So we haven't lost this one. So now I'm just going to pull through and get it tightened, right? So the first signature would be... Right? So what I'm doing is I'm tightening it as much... Let's get this one will be down there. And then... I'm trying to remember. Oh, okay. We can go that way too. Okay. So now I'm going to check. Oh, it needs a little more tightening. It's just about fiddling around with it and getting it tightened, right? Because we don't want it to be. So there's your first two sets of axes, right? So now you can take it off of this guy. Take the little paper clip off. And then I put one. on the one side and then one thread on the one side and one on the other side i tighten it i double knot it okay and then we start all over again but on the front side right so we start again in the middle so i'm going to find my needle my thread so we're going to do pretty much exactly the same, but with the front signature. Yes, it will have a doubled line in the middle, but that's okay. And then you find the middle. <laughs> kind of tighten that up. Okay. All the way through. See? And then instead of going across this way, we're going to go to the top. Now we want your friend signature, right? I'm just going to pull some of this out a bit. Oh, I'm so silly. Oh, yeah. No, that's right. Sorry. I was just thinking. I forgot the signature, but it's already here. Okay, so now we want the clip in the top, right? So there's the top of that signature, right? And now with this, again, we do the same thing. Sorry, we go to the middle. Like that. All the way through. I probably should have got a little more. Oh, I forgot to paper clip it, didn't I? Go back to the middle. Where are you? All right, just the end of this guy. to 
so we don't lose the end of the one we're using right now. So I'm going to just, you don't even really necessarily have to make a knot. You can even just twist it a couple times because it won't go nowhere unless you really yank it. <laughs> of course, I'm going to pull the whole paper cliff off just because, right? So we're just going to do a couple times. This would probably be easier with the needle. Okay, so it shouldn't go anywhere. You'd have to really, I mean, it's just to kind of help you not lose. Oops, I'm pulling the wrong one, you guys. Okay, so, okay, we're back right here. Okay, what am I doing right now? So now what we want to do is do that same line across to the middle of the signature again, right? So sorry, I'm just trying to find the signature. Am I in the right? Yeah, right there. There you go. Okay, so again, what we're gonna do next is go across to the top, right? I'm going to tighten that up a bit more. So if we can keep it as tight as possible, then we won't, it'll be a lot easier, right? And now you just go across like the last one, right? <laughs> I'm in the wrong signature. Find the middle again. And then, just like that. And now you go all the way at the bottom, right? Oh, so, and do you see it now? Now, find the end, and we finish off in the middle of the signature. And there we go, you guys. It's as simple as that. Yes, it might have looked a little, it, a little, it is a little complicated, but now you just literally take your little needle out and then just, oh, that's the wrong one. This one will come apart easy enough. Tighten it and then just check. And there you go. So now in the middle, what I do, I'm going to, where's the two ends right here? And put it underneath the middle string there. What I do is I bring them like that and I tighten right? And then I tie one knot this way and then one knot the other way. Now you're going to end up with like four of these, right? What you can do is make put some little beads at the bottom if you want, or you could make a little bow, whichever. It, does, it doesn't really matter. It's up to you how you want to decorate, or you can cut them super short if you want. I usually keep them a little longer so that way if the recipient wants to add a bead, they can. If not, then it's up to them. So now you can take all the clips off and your X binding is all done. So I hope this was useful and I hope that you are going to give it a try because, I mean, I tried this a couple times before I got it. Uh, I literally just winged it. And this is how I ended up making it the best that I could get it to work. So I hope that you give it a go. And uh, yeah, I hope you have an awesome evening. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.